Hey guys, what's going on? It's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training, and today I have three great pitching drills for youth players out there. So let's hop right into it. The very first one, you're gonna need a wall or a fence. I'll show you the drill in just a second, but what this is gonna help you do is lead with your front hip, okay? A lot of the times I see younger pitchers, and what they try and do is when they bring their, uh, their front foot up to this balance position here, one of the very first things they do is they kind of leak with their hips and they just kind of try and swing this open like a gate and that's not going to help you generate any sort of velocity. Whether you're pitching, playing infield, playing outfield, when you make a throw and you come, you know, obviously pitching your leg's going to be up here. You're not going to come up that high if you're an infielder, but we're using a pitching example for right now. So when you come up to this balance point, the very first thing that has to go towards home plate is your front hip has to fall forward like that, okay? That's really how you generate accuracy and generate velocity. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna have a fence or a wall right here. You can do this at home um, and you don't even need a glove, but you're gonna get your hands into a ready you know, pitching position. You're gonna bring that, that front foot up like this and you're just gonna lead with your hip and you're gonna fall into the fence, okay? And the reason the fence is there is just to encourage, you know, it's okay to fall. And then eventually you can get rid of the fence, you can come out to a field like this, and then you can work on actually throwing a bullpen and you're gonna notice a tremendous increase in your velocity and your accuracy when you do actually lead with that front hip, okay? So that's drill number one. I really love that drill. That's probably my favorite youth pitching drill, okay? Because uh, it's really gonna help you hone in your mechanics. The next one is balance. It's a balance, it's a reverse toe tap drill, okay? Uh, now there's lots of different theories about balance in pitching, okay? You hear a lot of guys say, that you know, no, you don't need balance when you pitch. Pitching needs to be an explosive movement. And I agree with that, I completely agree. I don't think that any effective pitcher that you see in the big leagues, you know, is completely balanced like this and balanced throughout their entire pitching delivery. That just doesn't happen. This does not generate very much velocity. You know, you need to have some sort of explosiveness, right? But at the same time, the better you have balance, you know, the, the more athletic you're gonna be, the more balanced you are. Whether you're pitching, whether you're hitting, whether you're playing basketball or linebacker in football or wide receiver, it really doesn't matter. If you're an athlete, the more balanced you are, just like the more flexible you are, the better that you're gonna be, okay? And I think it's really important for younger players uh, you have to have some sort of balance in your delivery, right? Because you can't be going towards the mound and, and be falling all over the place like this or bringing your front foot up and you can't control your body. We have to be able to control our body. And once you have perfect control of everything that you can do, if you can hold this position for, for an hour, once you have that kind of control of your body, then there's no telling how great you can be as a pitcher. So this is the drill. Uh, again, you don't need a ball or anything. We're just working on our balance. So we're gonna get into this position here. We're gonna bring our front foot up and we're gonna go cross over our feet and we're gonna lightly tap the ground and then bring it back up and over. So reverse toe tap, just like this. Okay, just over and over, boom. This is really gonna work. You're gonna feel in your right side here, you're gonna feel your foot kind of fluttering back and forth. You're gonna feel those little stabilizer muscles working. That's good, that's what we want. We're working on building those muscles and it's okay sometimes if you wobble and you come out of this position, just get right back to it. Uh, but reverse toe tap and then you can actually bring it up and go forward a couple times, okay? Reverse toe top, tap, and then equal and opposites just like that. So that's drill number two. Drill number three is also a balance drill. It's called the ball pickup drill, okay? So I'll actually bring the ball over here. You can do this with one ball or you can do a three ball variation, but I'll show you the one ball, okay? So you're gonna put it in front of your back foot like this, okay? And all you're gonna do, get ready, okay? Bring your knee up. And as you bring it down, you're gonna bend down, you're gonna pick up the ball, come up like this and immediately come up again, okay? And then you're gonna put the ball down. So you're gonna work on picking the ball up and picking the ball down. This one's really hard. Uh, it's really gonna test your balance. So that's the ball pickup drill. And then you can actually lay three baseballs just probably six inches apart. And if you have a partner, they can tell you left, center, or right. And then you're gonna get a little bit more uh, variation in there because you're gonna be you know, picking the ball up from different spots. So hopefully the, you like these drills. Hopefully they help make you a better pitcher, help with your balance, help with your mechanics. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, okay? And 
I actually have a free throwing workout for you that's going to help you improve your velocity as a pitcher. Velocity, you know, is a big factor, okay, to the level that you can play at and the effectiveness of all of your pitches. So if you want to improve your velocity 5 to 10 miles an hour, I have a free throwing workout. All you need to do to grab that is click on this image right here if you're on your computer. If you're on your mobile phone, your tablet, anything like that, any mobile device, that's not going to work. Just go ahead and click on the very first link in the description that will take you to the same page. All I need is your email address and I will immediately send you that free throwing workout. So thanks so much for watching. Go grab your free throwing workout and I'll see you next time.